Alright guys, so um, in this video it's going to be a quick one. I'm basically going to be showing you some post-processing effects that you can do to your world. This is basically the effect that I'm going to add by the end of the video. It's going to be a really quick video and you can see the difference right here. So I'm just going to delete this because I already made that. What we first want to do is we want to go to the top here. And it says quickly add to the project and then you want to go to visual effects and then post-process volume. So this is basically how to add post-processing but as you can see when people change settings they always say that they can't actually see anything happening and that's because you need to go down to here where it says infinite extent unbound in the details panel and you just want to press false now if you don't have the details panel you go to window and then you need to go to details and then you need to go to details one now let's go to all now there's plenty of settings that I will not go over in this video just because it'll be a very long video and I don't want to obviously make a 30 minute video on all of these but I will put in the description of all of the effects that it does in massive detail that was from Epic Games um, on their website which tells you everything that's on each effect but I want to create a nice blue dramatic effect which I'm going to use for this map so I'm thinking what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into let's say color grading. So let's go into color grading and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go global and turn on the gamma. And the gamma I'm going to set this to uh, a 0.75 and this to a 0.85 and I'm going to leave these two. So this is kind of adds to a dramatic blue effect which is quite nice. So I'm going to just switch up here, exposure, here we go. And I'm going to turn, uh, I've already messed around with the exposure before, but I'm going to turn this to 1.5. So there we go. So it lines it up a little bit. Now I'm going to go into the chromatic aberration. And I'm going to turn the intensity to a 1. Now I'm going to do the image effects. So let's go to the image effects. Here. Now I'm going to do the vig uh, vignette intensity and then I'm going to set this to a 1 as well. And there we go. So it's quite a nice like blue effect. So I'm going to go to the motion blur. I'm going to set all of these on. Nice. Now that's my post processing done. So I'll show you in game. So as you can see actually I'll, sit, I'll show you what it's like now. With it on and off. So if I go to outliner and then I'll show you now. So that's off and that's on. Nice. Now I'll show you in game. Alright, so as you can see the post processing has worked. Um, and if it doesn't show, then you might want to go down to here where it says post processing and turn it on because if it's not on, it's not gonna do a great job of processing the post processing. So uh yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I'll make some more videos soon. Sorry I haven't been uploading in the past three days, but I should be some more videos soon. Oh,